all right then guys blessings and good night hope that you all are doing well all right so right now i'm just going to give you some shorter versions of the video that we did in union island you know just in case some of you guys didn't get to these parts of the video because i know that you guys might skip out some which when you must watch the full video all right anyways um so going back through the video myself i um selected a couple of persons that we're going to be helping and this is one of them that I, uh, we want to work with you know just to help her um she's basically um living with her husband you know they lost everything to hurricane burial her name is miss jasmine and she has you know a story so i want you guys to watch this listen to it even if you watch it already here's a shorter version share it with somebody who haven't watched it as yet and just you know use the link which i'm going to link in the description box down below also i'm going to pin it in the top of the comments um you can donate uh we will you know continue to work with them until they're back up and running all right so even when we go back to Jamaica, if we have to come back, we're going to come back into St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You know, because I really want to ensure that um, these people, you know, get the help that they need. Now, we can't help, any, we can't help everybody. That, that's what I wanted to say. But, as I say, if we can help two or three persons, then that would be great. Alright, so you guys, thank you for um your support so far continue to support anyways here's the video don't want to make it too long probably 15 minutes or less so just watch this the links are all in the description box we're out here without fear one colors my tv blessings to you guys peace and love we're out under the bed stuff was um flying under the bed so we know that it wasn't safe there so at that time at that moment all the bricks and them for the building was tumbling in then we said no we had to take a run from under the bed everything and i was there and i just say above me bring it down for the time i heard that he said to me like like the roof going so i get up and i go in the sitting room again while i was out there he said to me come come and see something and he he, he point up in, i can't look up the sun yeah he point up and he point up you know i just scream out one time and i started to cry one of my daughter the um second to last one she is there's where the wind pick her up and blew her over to one of the, the um, neighbor's house. There's these walls we're seeing that pain, these these are the outside walls. The the blue and the green is inside inside the house itself. Wow. People don't look at that. That was supposed to be one of the shelter that people were supposed to go to luckily nobody never went there right oh gosh man mm. respect respect all right so miss jasmine gonna tell us you know how it was for her during the hurricane. During um, be, be, um <laughs> miser burial. Burial. <laughs> okay, my dear. Well, the morning opened good and nice, and then after all, I said to my husband, I said, "Well, how come they say burial passing to me, and I, I'm not seeing anything? Not too long after I heard a noise over by the rock over there, like you know." Going boom, yeah. boom, and the wind start blowing, and it's saying boom, boom, and then the water rising white and everything, and I see like a white squall under the, on top of the sea water going like this. So I said to him, um, Simon, what happened? Sea water stand up is the first time I ever saw that. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, look how high physics rock is, and like the water want to go over, and I see the water rushing coming. When it coming in, I was sitting by the window. And I could see when it come up this side, but 
I see it coming down that side and this side and that side they meet together and they coming in with the the mango tree is there. So and then after what I see the, the how the wind blowing blowing and this pole dancing and dancing and thing and I sit down there so I was just checking on the windows and the doors, mm -hmm. seeing where the water coming in. And I see the water coming in and I said to him, Simon, you know what happened? Beryl want to open the window. So he was fighting to to keep, keep them shut. Yes, to keep yeah. them. The, the window was closed and nobody, the, 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 the wind going between. So right. I was just fighting to keep them closed and uh, everything. And I was there and I just say above me, Pranga down, I'm funny, did ever hear that? He said to me, like, like the roof going. So I get up and I go in the sitting room again. While I was out there, he said to me, come, come and see something. And he, he, he pint up, in, I can't look up the sun. Yeah. He pint up and he pint up, you know, I just scream out one time. And I started to cry. After the I saw that the roof gone, I went in the kitchen, I sit down flat on the floor. And the rain, you know, coming, wetting me. So I was wet and I was shaking with cold and I was shaking with fear. And I fit myself down in the... Bathroom <laughs> in the Once in the right? face bed, yeah, in the uh -huh. face bed, oh, wow. the cupboard below the cupboard, face bed. Yeah. Right, that's where I fit myself because the windows breaking, the roof gone, yeah. and everything around you done. You couldn't come out because you tried to open the door. How are you coming out? Wow. Can't come out. Outside was white. White like milk. And it wouldn't be safe to come yeah. out because you don't know what. And then you see like one, I, well, I don't know what it is, if it's wind or rain or what. One squirrel come up this way. One come from the mountain this way and it tore them like that. Right over there. Me they together. go like this. They, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, you know. So that's how, you it know, I survived. really survive. frightening. Yeah. Really frightening. She I cry. Even telling me that I cry all the way through. Yeah, she was even telling me that the water down there, the seawater came and covered the jetty over there mm -hmm. and wow. came yeah, all the, up mm -hmm. in the road. Mm -hmm. So that's why all the trees over there were rooted, rooted, up. rooted up. Yeah, the jetty yeah, was completely was submerged. Couldn't see it at all. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that place in Clifton that I would have shown you, um, and I think you said it where it went, something like that. Um, that's her workplace and it was completely demolished. So she's now out of a job oh. um, along with her husband. Um, so this hurricane would have just taken their jobs and their livelihood from them. So um, I, well, I did some videos and I would have asked for some donations. Um, so anything you guys can do to assist Jasmine because at her age, she can't go to the bank and ask for a loan yeah, for I repairs. Understand. And I've known Jasmine for quite some time. She's a very hardworking woman. She is kind. She is polite. Um, and any form of um, relief, any form of materials, any form of donation would be greatly appreciated. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so which which one was your house, Miss Jasmine? The the one uh, the one below is our house. I'm gonna show you show you the house in a minute so you can see. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm looking at I guess the one up at top now. You know, there's um a top a top island and. And tap just covering it down. Yeah. yeah, so what we what we're gonna do, as we say, we we, we have one person that we're gonna work with. So um seeing, you know, that you you're out of a job and basically house gone and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could be the, the second person. So we you know, we're gonna work with you along with um <laughs> Carlos. So we're gonna get some information, you know. We're gonna, you know, just try our best to help you out <laughs> yeah. as much as we can. Yeah. All right, mommy. Yeah, yeah. thank you yeah, very man. much. And you know, we're just thank glad you. that life is spared. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And this was her neighbor's house as well. Wow. Yeah. Jasmine, they were in the house when the house was. Mm -hmm. Come around yeah, and take a look yeah, at this, guys. Yeah. Take a look so at this. So they could have run downstairs. Look at that. You can see every. Look at that. Frightening. Tell you, frightening, frightening, frightening. Frightening. <laughs> like, we know, we know they are saying, but we can just imagine. Boy, I don't know what I'm do if I'm doing this. Wow. Rough, rough, rough. So, so, so how, how has it been for you um, after? After this time, leading up to now, how, how, how you, you'll be able to, um, you know, to, to continue um, in terms of water, you know, 
food and and stuff like that? Well, after this time, you know, I wasn't really getting anything sober, so I was wondering what to do. So I went down the road, and one of my friends, after I told her I'm hungry, she gave me a little thing, and I didn't have no clothes either. Whoa. No, naked like a baby. Yeah. This Whoa, day, but she gave me some underwears, and a lady was by me, she gave me a, a top and a bottom. Wow. Right? And my shoe blew away everything, so then I went down the road. Then a cousin of mine, who is a um, sister in church, I call her, and she told me, um, she sent some things to give me. So she did send some food for me. Mm -hmm. But the water, I was using the water from the tank. Mm -hmm. I still mm -hmm. fill my buckets then. You know, that's what I was drinking. I wasn't boiling it, you know, because yeah. I didn't have the fire Survival to boil Survival mode. Kiki, right, right. So, so I just was drinking it and thing, you know. So I was just using the water in the tank and in the drums until... Until I start getting, you know, Multiple. some yeah, yeah. bottle of water, water and a little um, thing from Samaritan Post, you know, from mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my um, little donors and thing. Mm -hmm. That's how I survive. Okay. And I'm still surviving. So you just live with your husband alone? Or yeah, my or just husband. You and your husband? Yeah, my husband. All right. All right, so people, we definitely um, will have to get some, some clothes, um, food stuff, mm -hmm. along with material stuff, you know, so you can. You know? Yeah. Rebuild and thing. Yeah. yeah, so we 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 you know we truly sorry for what happened to you. It's natural. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know? Up because so we we'll just have to give God thanks. You're lucky we stand up because it's crying, we don't be crying all the time. You know? <laughs> I don't like to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, understand, right? understand, mm -hmm. understand. But know yourself, mommy. You know, help is yeah. help is gonna come. Right. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah man, so blessings. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks so much again. Okay, yeah. Jazzy. Right. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, my dear. Yeah, we're coming back down Tuesday, maybe by Tuesday, so you'll see us again. Okay. All right. And yeah. man, we're gonna, you know, bring more stuff for you and things. So. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, my dear. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Take care. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, people. So this, this is Miss Jasmine House, and. As you can see, it it gone, you know, totally gone. So we we definitely need for you know help her to get back up and running again. All right, you know, you can just take a look. See, that is it. Yeah. Really, really bad, guys. Really, really bad. Everything gone. Touching story, you know? Look at that. Wow. So, we're going to try the best that we can do for her. Yeah. Beryl, Beryl really did some damage. Bad, 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 bad. You know? All right, people, so the thing is, this is completely destroyed. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, this is Jasmine's house, so we're going we're gonna to need some, um, some ply. What do you call them ply here? Yeah? Groove ply. And also more, more zinc, you know, galvanized as, as they call it. Yeah, Jasmine living here with her husband. And you see, you know, they are two elder. No phone working right now because they don't have electricity. So we, we have to just come back down and, you know, visit them. Because I don't know when they're getting back electricity because most of the poles are down at the moment and, and so on. <laughs> 